So I did. What, a little, a little variety got you all irritated? All right. Welcome to another Operator How-To. Finally, the last of the White Noise DLC Ops. Today, we're going to take a look at Dokabi, Dekahedron, Team Rainbow's resident national security threat. You'll be please, please. Donnie Darko is a two-speed, two-armored attacking operator who spent too much time growing up on the deep web. She's kind of like Sombra, but competitive. It's, you you know that she, you know that she's like a C rank at best, guys. Come. Korean Wendy's doesn't like to be bothered with stuff like dealing with roamers or breaching or getting rid of stuff that allows breachers to breach the stuff. Takebi likes fucking with one of the most integral parts of the siege meta. Your cell phone. In a deal with Samsung, Team Rainbow hooked up all their operators with Galaxy phones. Little did they know that the most highly classified, top tier, best of the best counterterrorism faction in the world would be infiltrated by Diane from Bojack Horseman. Doki Doki has a global ability called the Logic Bomb. Black and white, biracial, white. black and white, biracial. Goddamn! It calls enemy phones and emits a vibrating noise that can be heard within earshot, compromising their location. Except for Echo, who thinks it's okay to knowingly corroborate with someone posing a national security risk. He doesn't get a cell phone tag. Dodecahedron gets two of these phone bombs. It's a global ability that affects every defender on the map, so no matter where they're hiding, they can be routed out. The defenders have to take a certain amount of time to disable the phone, which leaves them hella exposed. It's extremely useful for room clearing, and with a full team of three speeds, it works alarmingly well. You basically sit back and do nothing. Doc Ock has another obnoxious ability that allows the whole attacking team to get into the defender's camera network by picking up a phone off of a dead enemy. So if you're a Valkyrie main, you better start throwing your shit outside more. There are a number of issues that I have with this ability when I first saw it, but in the most practical sense, you can mitigate the usefulness of it to a good degree. Not to mention, if you have a Twitch, many of these cameras will be destroyed anyway. It would be really broken if Dokabe had a high rate of fire AR and was 3 speed, but she's none of these things, thank god. If you're on the defending team and the enemy has a Dokabe, just know that you roaming may compromise your team. No pressure though. Like Vigil, Dokabe has some unorthodox weapon options. She didn't feel like bringing an AR, instead she has the MiG-14 EBR. You have this, or the Boss Baby. And you're not Shroud, so you probably shouldn't be using the Boss Baby. The McBangBang Bang is a beast if you can aim. If you can't aim, don't, uh, probably don't play this character. Or at least spend a lot of time in T-Hunt and, and just really practice your mechanical aim. Because Dokebi is a character that relies very heavily on mechanical aim for this reason. That being said, it's probably the best DMR in the game. It can reliably down and kill opponents with two to three body shots, usually two if you're up close, and it doesn't have a lot of recoil. The only thing is, in a game that requires a lot of close quarters fighting, a DMR with an ACOG scope may warrant you to stick somewhat at a distance, and you would be smart to do it. Dekebi is not a rusher, and she's not a hunter. She works better in conjunction with teammates as a support operator, in my opinion. In that sense, she's still very powerful, though. In close quarters, I do like to use the SMG-12 a lot more. Like I mentioned in the Vigil video, the DPS on it is absolutely absurd, and it gets headshots like nobody's business. I prefer to sit back from a nice perch and use the DMR to catch people peeking when they shouldn't be. And trust me, they'll wish they hadn't if your shots are on point. Get out of here. The boss baby. Boom. Well, you already know about the boss baby if you watched the last video. It's almost a meme, if it weren't so powerful. It's fun to use, I'll give it that. Want to bring it in ranked? No, it's free country. The CZ-75 is good at hip firing and basically nothing else. I'd recommend the SMG-12 over at any day of the week, but that's just me. Main points here, again, I don't play Dokebi like a rusher, because if she can't get into the cameras and she doesn't get her logic bombs off, then her usefulness on the team gets pretty much compromised. I do cleanup work from a distance, and then I push into the objective with the SMG-12 when I need to, calling phones along the way to make it easier for my teammates. That's the strategy I've implemented that seems to work to varying effect, but someone else might have a different opinion. I haven't watched the pros player yet, so I can't really say for sure. I think she's going to have some usefulness in the playoffs and at the Invitational, though. Do you want to add her to your roster? Well, if you like mainly playing support, she's a lot of money to buy. And if you don't already have Twitch, she's an operator that plays a role similar, I guess, at least in my experience. I can see myself getting used to her. She's a very unique operator with a very unique price point, unless you have the season pass anyway. And she plays well with an organized team. So, if no one else in your group is playing her, you might want to as well. If you have good mechanical aim, then you'll love the DMR. And the SMG-12 is great for short-range engagements. That's all you really need to know 
about Doki. Greg! Injured. Are you guys on? Yeah. Wait, PUBG? No. no. We got we 20 on? minutes left. No! Flitz video is next. Fucking finally. I just want to take a moment to say thank you all so much for the support that you've been giving this channel and for the 100,000 subscribers. It really does mean a lot to me as I've been doing Siege content for about a year now and I never expected to be anywhere near where I am today. You guys are the reason my parents aren't freaking out about my financial future. I am doing a year three season pass giveaway and I will leave details for that in the description as well as a special 24 hour stream. So if you want details on that, the best way to get those as fast as possible is to follow my Twitter for updates on that. Links in the description. Thanks again so much. Deuces. <laughs> Fans wants to know if I can make a video suggesting a Valk buff. Honestly, the MPX is really good if you just aim for the head, but it could use a little more damage. Martin Luther Sim Jr. wants to know if I like the new Valk bundle, and honestly, she looks like Kate McKinnon from the Ghostbusters reboot.